what is up you guys welcome back to my channel I know it's kind of hard to see me right now because it is so bright outside currently but in today's vlog I'm going to be taking you guys along for my virtual baby showers they are both going to be virtual but I have one today with friends from church and I have another one next weekend just with family and, and friends and people on my mom's side so who I'm getting a kick in the ribs right now so I thought it would be fun to bring you guys with me along for that to kind of see what the virtual shower looks like and the different things that we do and I'm also going to show you guys a couple of things that we got from our shower just from generous friends and family and then give you a little bit of a nursery sneak peek in this vlog as well so if you're interested in seeing any of that then just keep on watching All right, I am back home now, out of breath, because I just lugged everything up into the nursery to start like unpacking and sorting through all of it, but that was just so lovely. It was so nice to be able to celebrate even online and my friends had planned such like fun games and activities and had been making baked goods and things for us to eat during the shower even with just a couple of us there so it was just so lovely such a great time to be able to celebrate baby girl with all of those people wherever they were and i am just like feeling overwhelmed and, and grateful right now for um, just the people that we have in our life. So that was really, really good. I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. First, I wanna give you guys like a full shot at this dress that I'm wearing. It was actually gifted to me for the shower today. So I wanna show you that and let you know about who I'm working with. But I also want to give you guys a little bit of an overview of what we've gotten from showers and friends in the past couple days because there has been just like so many things that have rolled through. So I will update you guys on all of that. All right, ignore the hot mess that is behind me right now in baby girl's room. It is kind of in shambles at the moment because there are so many boxes and stuff that has come through and just stuff that we need to unpack from showers. But this is the dress that I am wearing today. It is honestly so so cute got little frilly sleeves a nice little front smock it just looks like so good with the bump very like boho-y and flowy and I've just been able to just like let it all hang loose today relax enjoy the showers eat good food and this is from pink blush so pink blush has a branch called pink blush maternity and they make really stunning newborn or <laughs> newborn baby brain really stunning maternity clothes and outfits and their stuff is just so beautiful so definitely go and check them out if you want to shop this dress i will link it down below but check out some of the other stuff that they have as well because it is all just as beautiful as this one is so thank you to pink blush for sending this for my shower jared wanted me to tell him what we got but then i was just going to do it all on camera anyway so we're just going to do this all in the same go and get it all happening let's see so you have actually seen this this is a jolly jumper driver baby mirror so this will go with the car seat cool. um in the car this is the jolly jumper smarter hook so this one will actually go on to carabiner yes onto the stroller to kind of like hang bags and stuff like that so you don't have to carry that specifically it which says not for climbing really nice <laughs> what do you mean like would babies grab that no there? no like, like what the heck like, like when people you're that do like bouldering rock oh, wall climbing and stuff use like carabiners for their what rope or their security oh for like rock a, climbing yeah well, i'm pretty sure they're called carabiners uh, we got some free to baby stuff. So this is the easy grip nail scissors. That's so me out. for little tiny nails. Just to hold I don't fingers. know what this part is. <laughs> Probably not. I actually don't know what this is. We'll figure it out. Uh huh. Um, I got some lactation milk. So that's what this is to help Gross. help produce some stuff. Some mother's milk. Get some food for baby going. We got an upside down peri bottle. What do you think this is? This is spray out your vagina to clean it. <laughs> it just goes right <laughs> for it. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I already know. Well, it does already say there. So. Well, yeah, I didn't read but that. But he, he knew. That's good. Um, this is a wet dry bag. What do you think this is? I feel like it's where you put diapers before and after. So there's a dry side for the diapers and a wet side for when they're wet. Actually, that might be right. When you said before, I was like, not necessarily. But you can also put like poopy clothes in here. So wet dry bag, very practical. We got poopy a clothes. 
mm, script for that. Uh, Brittany, my friend, is also to the side <laughs> of the camera right now. We got a Halo sleep sack, so okay. we got one for newborn, but also three to six months. She'll, Great. she'll be a nice little burrito while she's sleeping. So nice. Some Who baby Tylenol, nice. which is important to have. You never know. Someone actually got me gummy bears, which I have been nice. craving in pregnancy, so that was fantastic. Um, this is a kite baby swaddle. So this is like, um, I was telling you about this brand. It's the same brand that, oh, that does that the does uh, this sleeper. The fancy so sleeper. one of my friends got us a kite baby sleeper, which I think is um, it's worth more than my shoes. <laughs> yeah, these things are a little bit pricier, but they're like so so soft and buttery. And she gave us a great tip that if you get the ones that are not footed, that they can actually wear it a lot longer and you can get more wear out of it. So. We got that, and then we also got a swaddle. So she will be very buttery, soft, and kite baby. Speaking of swaddles, we also got a couple, I don't know how to pronounce this, maybe baby, maybe baby. I don't know how to say it, but we got a couple of their swaddles. So these are the 47 inch by 47 inch stretch swaddles. They are like massive, and again, like very buttery soft. So Brittany and Julia gave me a crash course on how to swaddle. Can't guarantee that I to know how to do it. it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see. Max. we'll see if you can figure swaddle it out. Max. <laughs> but I feel like we've got a lot of really great hey. swaddles now, which is Come nice. Um, okay, what do you think this is? An LV curve. Um, Maybe if I take it out, it'll help. Yeah, let me see it. Immediately, I'm thinking it's something to do with their noses. <laughs> like it sucks some stuff out of their nose or shoots some stuff in their noses. But shoot stuff into their noses. Like to clean it's it like out. Like a neti pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What is that? Wait, but it's I'm like guessing. A, a teapot that you put water and like saline in and you pour oh, it in right one yeah. nostril and it comes out the other. But okay, I think this is because what it looks you're like. being so like <laughs> about it probably is also another vagina thing <laughs> for after. You're getting closer. <laughs> oh, it's a nipple thing. It's a boob thing. Maybe yes. it, oh, it catches your leaks. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, you and it put shows your, you how many ounces you're leaking. Well, you put your nipple in here basically, and it collects because when you're breastfeeding, you leak on the other side often. So it collects it, and then you can store it and feed it to her later. That's kind of so, gross. I'll be curved. Mm. And we got so many bucks, and I knew you'd be very excited about hey, this one. <laughs> very hungry caterpillar. It's Jared's favorite baby book. This is the one I remember the most. Yeah, so we got that. Um, the Jesus Storybook Bible, which is great. I'm really excited for oh, look. her to it's have when he that eats one. through all of the different fruits. <laughs> it's a and good part, really them. good part. <laughs> And we got. Oh, and then he has the junk food that he eats there too. Look, <laughs> all the different junk food. You're and then gonna the have flour. fun writing this one with her for I'm sure. I'm stoked. Jared, you already broke into my gummy bear. Yeah, <laughs> we've been sitting here for like five seconds. We got did, the book Think Big, Little One, which I think is kind of what like is a, it? a woman's empowerment book. Like That's it, better. It gives you examples of like. Um, different people and then like oh, what cool. they did and stuff like that basically to be like you can do anything with yep. your life we got baby wise from a friend which is great because this was basically recommended by a thousand people to us on how to sleep train mm -hmm. so going to start reading that very soon and then this one's called I will give you the world mm. this was kind of gifted on behalf of everybody it's but beautiful. this one is really really pretty as well it's baby beautiful. books are so pretty these days and then corduroy which is a nice oh, one. Oh, I remember this one yeah did you watch the TV show when you were a kid? No. I don't think so. I did. Was it good? Yeah, I liked it. Oh, I remember the police. Yeah, I think I did actually. Yeah. Corduroy like, not Bear. consistently, but mm -hmm. episodes mm -hmm. here and there. And you only had one strap that worked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think maybe I have faint memories. I remember, I remember all of this. Remember this little girl? Looking at the pictures, it just all comes yeah. back to you, hey? Yeah. Um, I'm not mad at We you. also got from a couple of my co-workers the Baby Bjorn mini carrier, which is Yarn. really exciting. We're gonna have to figure out how to Baby wear that, Bjorn. but I'm excited to do that. Um, and then a few other things that have come <laughs> in <laughs> the last couple weeks. After I had my little scare in the hospital, I went and bought a couple of things that we needed for the hospital bag. So I got some Freedom Mom disposable postpartum underwear. I've heard that these are great and apparently the hospitals in Canada don't really give you anything. So. Yeah. I also got this for labor and delivery. So it's just like a long, soft gray robe. I tried to get something dark because I figured there will be lots of things coming out in fluids. So the brand on this one is um, Ikauer. I actually don't know how to pronounce that. I had never heard of it before, but I found it on Amazon and it was a great price, so I got that. 
I also got a couple of these maternity bras for the hospital bag and just when I'm home. These are from Amazon as well. I haven't really splurged on maternity bras yet because I feel like I don't know what I'm going to like and dislike. So I figured I would start cheap and kind of work up from there. So I think the package of both of these was like 30 bucks. So like $15 each, which is not bad. Um, and the brand on that is Angelhood. So I'll also link that. That's what I got for hospital bag. And then the last thing that has come in in the past couple of weeks since I've done a video is our diaper bag. So this is Fawn Design. I've seen a bunch of people talk about it on YouTube as well. There's just like so many great pockets and room for things like that. So I will also pack that and bring that when we go to the hospital too. Brittany, who is no, it? also a labor and delivery nurse, you about to show Jared how to swallow. I'm just curious because you said you knew you've done it before. I have done it before. Just go for it. It's been a long, long time. How many years? Like four or six. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. That's a long time to me. Wait, too. who were you swaddling five or six years ago? Like, um, like Liv and You then swaddled another, them? Yeah. When would you have swaddled? I never even swaddled them. Yeah, I when I was at their house one time. And then also, um, who else did I swaddle? I think with people that I lived with in, um, Toronto. Huh. Okay. <laughs> and that is how <laughs> <laughs> Walk me through it. <laughs> so you want the shoulders to be at the top of the swaddle and then you're gonna do it like a C. So start one side, then bottom, then other side. So you can stop start from either way. And you just crank it, nice it over. And yeah, and use crank their body it. to hold it in place. So tuck it under there you go. Then the bottom's gonna be really long, especially on this one. So I would recommend like folding it before you bring it up like that and then bring that one over and then just really give her. Really and give her. Basically just. Like a mummy. Yep. And what do you tuck it in the top? You can because it's so long, but usually you just like bring it around and then just rest it under their body. So their body weight keeps it in place. <laughs> slams it down. All right, it's a mess of boxes down here right now, but here was the big group gift from the shower, the Uppa Baby Vista V2. So we're putting it together now, and honestly, we were like blown away that we were gifted this. This is like such a great stroller. I'll show you guys when we put it all together what it looks like at the end, but I've heard so many good things about this, so I will let you guys know how it goes. Wait, so... So when she's a newborn, this will be... It's the same thing that's on the box over there. Like, she'll be able to sleep in this. Oh my gosh, and really? And it flips up, because she'll lay flat Holy down, smokes. and then that is what she'll transition into when she's older, and because we have the um, Meza uh, car seat, it also clips right into this. Look at you! Buddy. <laughs> We're all here for Jared. <laughs> Look at you, Maxie. Are you so excited? We're gonna go for so many walks. And we're back. It is weekend number two, baby shower, technically number three, virtual baby shower. This one is being hosted by my mom and my sister at my sister's house, and it's for both of us. So we get to do it together. And this one is going to be also, as I said, virtual, but I'm pretty sure it's more of like time slots for people because it's a mix of like my side, my dad's side, friends. So it'll be like a few different time slots where we'll have an opportunity to just like chat with people, catch up, show them the baby bum, open the gifts, whatever else. I think it's gonna be really fun. This is the dress that I got for um, our maternity photos and it actually looks cute on camera, but do not be deceived. I'll try and get another angle. It does not look cute in person. <laughs> it does not look cute in person. I said to Jared as we were leaving, I was like, if this was all like happening in person right now, I would be mortified to leave the house in this dress. Luckily, it's just my mom and my sister. But Jared had to like safety pin down the sleeves. It's wrong on all fronts. Like it's too long. It looks very, see -through. it's see fully see-through. I had to put a slip on underneath. The sleeves like slide over and that's not a huge deal, but because it's see-through, I had to put on a slip and like a bra, which I wasn't planning on doing to like try and hide everything underneath. And then because of the friggin' safety pins in the back, it's like, it's like garbage bag arms. If you can imagine how lovely that would look. Not so 
it's not great it looks so cute from the front so it'll work well for this and for the zoom calls today but i will show you guys a side angle at some point in this vlog a friend of mine that's attending virtually dropped these off at the house before we left and look at that this is a butter tart donut it's like a dream come true and i think that's like a vegan vanilla donut so got some good treats here It is officially the next day after the shower. It was so much fun and just really nice to be able to even just see my mom and my sister in real life. They haven't seen my baby bump in a really long time, so it's good to catch up with them. We got some great stuff. We got some books. We got clothes. We got bottles. We got this really sweet baby bouncer thing. It feels like everything is coming together now. There's only a couple more things that we need to get for her. I think like some newborn or preemie sizes just in case she does come out a little bit small, but for the most part, we're good. I think we're good, Max. There's not much more we need to do for baby girl to come. My mom got us this great laundry basket to put beside her dresser so that it's really easy with like diaper changes and stuff to just drop it in here. So that's great. And we also have the Ubi diaper pail coming in the mail today that I'll put in this corner and kind of like close off this dresser changing pad area and i'll show you guys like a final reveal of all of that once all the decor comes in and we're able to get this section done this is the great chair we got from baby bjorn this is the soft seat i'll see if i can link it down below for you guys but basically it works from when they are a baby to like a toddler and you can obviously just like take this little extension off and then it turns into a full kind of baby seat for them as they grow up I also wanted to show you guys this beautiful book that my sister got us. My niece Olivia has it and basically like each page has a story and like a really beautiful design but then you can also press these buttons and it plays music that goes with the story. Isn't that like the most magical thing ever? All right, well, I think I'm going to end this week's vlog here. I have so much footage on my memory card and I don't even know what is what, so it's gonna be fun to parse through and edit this one this week. But I hope that you guys enjoyed just coming along for the baby shower experiences with us. It was really fun to be able to film all of that and capture it all for the memory. So I am actually really looking forward to editing this one. I do also want to do a nursery reveal for you guys. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because story are still closed here so non-essential items like mirrors and baskets and all those finishing touches I do not have yet we don't even have a light bulb in her room yet so it's still like I'm only coming in here during the day to work on it but that is coming soon baby girl clothing um, update and haul and all of that let me know if you guys want that one but if there are any other videos that I have not mentioned yet that are baby related and you want to see in the next couple of weeks then please comment them down below because I am like mad out what content is gonna look like and I want to make sure I get all of that done for you guys before baby girl arrives if not in the next couple of weeks then when I start mat leave on May 28th so that's coming up very very soon and I am so stoked on that but I think that's everything for this week's vlog I love you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel but until I see you guys in the next video I love you I'm praying for you and I will see you soon